On the day following the celebration of St. Paul's conversion, we honor the memory of two of St. Paul's co-workers, Timothy and Titus. This is a good reminder to us that no grace is given for our own soul benefit. Grace is given to be shared so that the church may be built up in love. Hello, this is Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer with some thoughts about today's saints. Sometimes we have the impression that life in the early church was peaceful and that all the early Christians were united. A quick reading of Paul's two letters to Timothy and his letter to Titus show that this was not always the case. Divisions were a problem from the beginning. They only got worse. And so today, we have the sad situation where it's estimated that there are over 35,000 different Christian denominations. How confusing this must be to the world that ends up rejecting Jesus because his followers are not united in belief and practice. Many divisions are a result of different interpretations of Scripture. And the question arises, where can one find an authoritative interpretation for the Bible? St. Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 15, clearly states where we are to find the truth. There, Paul refers to the church as the pillar and foundation of the truth. We don't go to the Bible alone to find the truth because different people interpret the Bible in different ways. We go to the church built upon the rock St. Peter, the first bishop of Rome and Pope. Jesus promised that the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against the church built on this rock. And so we pray today that the thousands of Christian denominations may be brought together into one church so that Jesus' desire may be fulfilled, that there will be one flock, one shepherd.